Dr. Lisa Miller offers you a new hack for your mental health that most young people won't even consider. She's dedicated her life to the subjects of psychology and neuroscience, and she's found something that works statistically better than many other things. If you want to alleviate anxiety, if you want to lessen depression, if you want to have a positive outlook on your life, her research has found in her new book, The Awakened Brain, her research is religion. I know many people close their ears at this point. They don't want to hear this anymore. In fact, she said when she's presented, her scientifically evidenced research, people walk out of the room because the last thing they'd rather believe is religion. They'd rather take hallucinogenic drugs. They'd rather go on crazy trips in crazy town than actually consider prayer, self-sacrifice, community involvement, something that's not so selfish and costs a lot of money. No, for Dr. Miller, she's looked evidence-based that it's 80%. 80% decrease, that if you consider yourself very spiritual and you live that out, you have an 80% less likely rate of anxiety, depression, or addiction, according to her research. And if you disagree with me, that's fine. You can argue with me. It's in the book. She's got the credentials. Disagree with the body of work. We live in a world that likes to pretend everything but religion is the solve to our mental health. But Dr. Lisa Miller would offer, and I think we should consider, there are eternal benefits to having community, not just drugs. Psalm 97. Rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise his holy name. There is joy in being part of a Christian church. There is joy in praising God's name. There is lasting joy that you don't need to take another drug or another substance or another whatever. Rejoice in the Lord. Praise his name. He gives me comfort. I'm, I'm not in control. I can't fix my, my relative, my coworker, my boss, but, but he's in control. He'll take care of me. All the things that I stress about usually turn out to be nothing. And if I just put it in God's hands and let go and let God, well, there is some benefit there, some eternal benefit, even though that's really hard for me and, and maybe you to do too. Now, the comfort of the Psalms, the comfort of being in Christian community is the joy of praising his holy name for everything he has done for us sinners and the love he has for us each and every day.